So what have we previously learned about? Let's do a quick recap. Money lenders were those people who provided loans at a very higher rate of interest and traders were those people who bought goods at a very low price from tribals and sold it at a higher price to others. This led to the miserable condition for tribals. There were three means of livelihood of tribals. First was jhum cultivation, it is also known as shifting cultivation where treetops were cut. Um, vegetation was burnt out, uh, seeds were scattered and then the crops were reaped and the land was uh, left fallow for several years. So uh, we also discussed about herders. Herders uh, are also known as pastoralists who move from one place to another across seasons. When the grass got exhausted, they moved to other places, for example, one Gujars of Punjab, Lambadis of Andhra Pradesh. The, uh, we also uh, discussed about hunters and gatherers. Gatherers were those people who collected the forest produce. For example, the corns of Odisha were famous. Um, they ate roots and fruits of plants, they extracted oil from the sal and mahua trees for cultivation. Shrubs and herbs were used for medicinal purposes. So we will discuss about uh, settled cultivators today. This is the fourth means of livelihood. Uh, before 19th century, tribe, uh, some tribal groups began settling down. For example, the clan of Mundas. They gradually got rights over their land. Um, their forefathers or ancestors um, uh, grabbed huge areas of land so their descendants or, uh, become the original settlers and they got the rights over that land. Uh, as the time passed, some of them became powerful chiefs and rented out their land to peasants for cultivation. Britishers considered Gaunts and Santhals as civilized because they were settled at one place. But uh, shifting cultivators like herders or hunters and gatherers were considered wild and savage. Wild means uh, we can refer to it as wild animals and savage means backward. Mm, how did colonial rule affect tribal lives? First we will see tribal chiefs, how it affected them. Tribal chiefs had power, administration and control over their territory. Even they had a police station. But under the British rule, their functions and powers were checked or we could say restrained. They were allowed land titles over a large area of land but their administrative powers was lost. They had to follow the laws of British. In this they had to pay the tribute to the British and they had to discipline um, tribals on behalf of British. So now how did colonial rule affected the shifting cultivators? Britishers were uncomfortable uh, with these people because these people couldn't pay taxes and uh, Britishers couldn't even trace them because these people moved from place to places. Settled peasants were easier to control and administer and take their rent. The main purpose of British was to get the revenue. So they introduced land settlement. In this, the land was measured. The rights of every individual was defined. And they demanded a fixed revenue for state. So peasants were of two types. Landowners. Some were landowners and some were tenants. Landowners collected rent from tenants and they paid uh, and the landowners paid revenue to the state. 
बट दिस नॉज दिस वॉज नॉट वेरी सक्सेसफुल बिकॉज झूम कल्टिवेटर्स वर एट एबल टू प्रोड्यूस क्रॉप्स बिकॉज द लैंड वॉज इनफर्टाइल दे हैड अ ड्राई सॉइल एंड देर वॉज अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ वॉटर स्केर सिटी एंड दिस विद दिस दिस लेट टू अ रिवॉल्ट and then uh, the revolt was somewhat successful and they were allowed the right to carry the jhum cultivation forest laws and their impact how the forest laws affected these tribes some forest were considered the state property while other forest were considered reserved because they had timber uh, which could provide huge profits to britishers this led to the restriction of the movement of tribes they were not allowed to move freely but the british needed labor so they provided them land and allowed them to have cultivation but in return they wanted labor from these people this led to the miserable condition of tribes Uh, tribes disobeyed and revolted and this was known as songram sangma what were the problems with trade the money lenders and traders offered cash loans and wages in return they wanted work from these people the fine quality of indian silk was in high demand all over the world so in hazari bag in jharkhand uh, people raid cocoons and uh, mm, they were famous for selling it to exporters now the agents provided them loan and collected the cocoons 4000 cocoons they only paid rupees 3 or rupees 4 then they exported these cocoons which was five times the higher price which was five times the basic price sorry they exported it to gaya here the middleman uh, uh, middleman were worked as evil they uh, uh, gained huge profits on the cost of these people travelers had to go to far away places to search for the uh, to search for work this uh, was even worse and this led to the uh, miserable condition tea plantations of assam and coal mines of jharkhand are examples of this where they were provide miserably low wages and they were hired contractually uh, you can see the picture of coal miners of bihar of 1948 how their condition was they were not even allowed to return home so rebellions that took place in india was our uh, coals coals uh, rebellion took place in 1831 santhal's revolt took place in 1852 bastar that dwell in central india uh, revolted in 1910 wali revolt of maharashtra took place in 1940 these four revolts paved the way for them birsa munda birsa munda was born in mid 1870s he played flute and danced in akhada he heard of munda's uprisings uprisings uh, the revolts that had taken pl- uh, taken place in ancient times against the dikus golden age he refers to satyug satyug is considered to be a place uh, to be a age which was free from oppression he also heard of uh, he also heard sermons of missionaries um, 
missionaries talked about kingdom of heaven and that they these people should act in a good way and not act in a bad way but this instilled a, a feeling of revolt in them vaishnav uh, they were influenced by vaishnav preacher who talked about purity and piety piety means devotion towards god so um, the three things that birsa asked his followers to do was to give up liquor to clean up the village and stop the witchcraft and sorcery in 1895 birsa revolted to recover the glorious past the causes for these uh, for the misery of tribals were missionaries money lenders landlords and british birsa died of cholera in 1900 Uh, he urged his followers to destroy Ravana. Ravana here uh, refers to Europeans and Dikkus, but Ravana was far greater th- uh, or better than these people. And he attacked police station and churches and raided money lenders. 